Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm joined by mad scientist Leonard R. with his latest Frankenstein invention. How are you doing, Leonard? I'm doing great, Joe. So we are here in survival mode in a map that Leonard has devised. What do you call this, Leonard? This is the reef. This is where all of the Minecraft maps in, in the universe come together. They all started in one place, and no, I guess they all started in a lot of different places. These are all spawn chunks, but they've all come together right here. We, as I said, we're in survival mode, so I better pick up this rotten flesh. Now, oh, hey, there's a book in this furnace. Um, That's interesting. See. Modern Brick House by Stealther Pro, and it's got a URL here that yeah, links that... to Planet Minecraft. Yeah, that's the credit book for this chunk. So every chunk in this map comes from some other map. And every chunk has a book hidden in it that uh, is sort of a little credit for the person who created the map. And it gives you the URL so you can go download the full map if you want to see the whole thing. Well, that is really cool because, you know, obviously anytime... Ah! We're not going to close that door. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Any time that you skeleton's house there. Yeah, that is that is skeleton's house. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We gotta find some weapons and whatnot by nighttime. Um, probably we should grab some beds if we see beds too. Um, I'm just gonna try to make some things as I go. Oh no, go, no, there's enough to scavenge. That I don't know that we should be bothering making. I want to explore. Man, right. there's a lot of villagers in here, so we might even be able to trade some of these books. No. Okay, hey carrots at least. Come grab some food, man. All right. So, um, the idea of this map is that you took 160,000 Minecraft maps from four mm -hmm. different sources. Um, what was the name of that project? The Minecraft Geological Survey? Yeah, the Minecraft Geologic Survey is sort of the parent project for all of this, and that's uh, basically 170,000 Minecraft maps. It's almost two terabytes of data. Oh, here's a McDonald's. We can just get some food here. Oh, good. Is Of course, the <laughs> sign... Outside the McDonald's is the chunk. The actual McDonald's is not in the chunk that we're oh, in. Oh, darn. They do okay, have the bedrock creep. parking lot, though, with the wool <laughs> lines. Oh, and a creeper. Hey, creeper. Hey, creeper. Um, okay, weird pig There's jumping thing slimes. Void in there. Possibly. Oh, yeah, void. Void. We want to avoid that. Oh, I found some potions. Um, well, let's get away from the creeper. You remember oh, yeah. the creeper who's chasing us through that maze back there? Our good friend. Our good friend, the other uh, creeper. Um... So let's keep going uh, instead of creep going because we're going to be in trouble. We still have two more. Man, there's just creepers everywhere because I guess there's no, you know, with the uh, sunlight. Uh, dude, Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. Ah! Yeah, I, I, come on. Follow me. Away. There's there's right. way too many creepers over there. Let's see if there's anything in this house. And it's a zombie. And another creeper. Okay. Um. Hey, here's some lava. Let's not fall in that. Are you still able to You tracking me? Uh, yeah, but I definitely can't, tracking I can't me. run. I'm, uh, I'm grabbing a food? melon. Yeah. Uh, if, I, if I can just get a second to make a crafting bench, I can make some bread. Okay, well... I'm, Whoa, I'm I hear fireworks hidden. going off. I'm hidden in a hedge, so I don't think the creeper will get me while I... There are so many creepers in this map. Okay, see, this is why we play test. <laughs> hey, I found, I found beds, though. Alright. Um, okay, I see where you are. I'm coming. Diamond swords, diamond swords. Oh. Hey, there's an enchanting table down there. Dude, there's there's a ton of swords and stuff in here. All right. Hop in. Uh, I will try to hold them off while you gear up. All right. Don't run in front of me while I've got a diamond sword, man. <laughs> okay. Um, bad. Oh. Oh, hey, this is worked. a great. This is a great house. There's a bow. All right. Um, yeah, All right. bow, some arrows. Let's go ahead. Man, there's a lot of fireworks in an adjacent chunk too, it sounds like. Yeah, so grab some beds because we might need them later. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's gonna be hard uh, running around at night. It's probably a custom fireworks spawner. Uh, okay. There's a couple of those, and they'll just uh, make fireworks all the time. Do you see them anywhere? Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, some of the some of the maps just have custom fireworks spawners. Can I use my? Is it swords or shears that work well on? Oh, dude, chest. Oh, dude, there's a million diamonds in here. <laughs> that, that. Whoa, what, what okay. So, I'm gonna TMI go Unlimited. Let's go down and see what these Let's see what are. map this is from. This is from uh, New to Planet Minecraft by Frogmaster117. He says, I am brand new to Planet Minecraft. Oh, I guess these are all his head around here. Yeah, it's, probably. 
it's really cool seeing how different people make different things. Hey, I found a horse. So in some cases, it looks like these uh, chests are just embedded in the ground. They don't really seem to be part of the chest infrastructure that already exists. Yeah, if there's no chest or furnace or brewing stand or thing that can hold a book in the chunk already, I basically pick one of the blocks and I replace it with the chest and I put the book in there. That's pretty cool. How are we for daylight? Uh, seems like it's getting dark, but I can't. It's getting dark, but uh, we've got beds, so we're Yeah, okay. well, let's try and find a shelter. Are you still down in that hole? I'm right, I'm right behind you. Okay, cool. Um, dang, creeper's coming out of every house. Yeah, let's let's find a place to hide so that we can... So we can set uh, up the beds. Hey, wait, what about... This it, is defensible. Com come on, lights. Whoa, creepers. Good move. Whoa, is that an enchanted sword? <laughs> yeah, I got a knockback sword. That's, that's, uh, you're in charge. Hey, dude, there's a house over here. Okay. Let's go uh, it's got an iron door. Uh... <laughs> You just went through the whole house, Joe. Yeah, that was a maximum security prison, apparently. Um, <laughs> so let's put down some beds before the creepers. Uh, All right. Okay, I'm, I was able to get in so quickly. All right, I'm in bed. Come on. Okay, now let's leave those just in case we okay, yeah. you put it oh, back where already... it was. Okay, I've got one more. So let's leave those in case we die. All right. So destroy these signs when you have read this is a farm, your animals are free range. Hopefully you're on survival, food, armor, and weapons, and tools inside. So I guess I would... There, yeah, you'd go down here and then the rest of the map. And... <laughs> Dang it, people not putting the good stuff in the spawn chunks. I like, okay. Well, I like when there's signs in the spawn chunks. No, that is good, too. Um, Hedge so... maze... Uh, I don't think there's a good way to... This is void here. At first I was like, oh, I'll just swim across. That's void. We're not jumping in that. That would be the acme of foolishness. Um, I got a shovel. I'm just going to dig up some dirt in case we need blocks. Yeah, I'm, I've been trying to avoid... Um, I, I just want stuff out of chests. I want stuff that they, the makers intended us to have. Oh, you're doing the, the Iron Man challenge. I'm doing the Survival Man challenge. Like... It really seems like this would actually be really fun on hardcore mode to see how far you could get. Um, so, uh, what when you came up with this idea, like, mm -hmm. what was your what what prompted you? What got you to this point? Like, were you just like, I've got all these maps, I should take the spawn chunks from all of them, or was there more to it? Uh, well, you remember the um, the project I showed you with the, the map of New York City mm -hmm. uh, from the 19th century. Um, <clears throat> doing that project, I sort of got fluency in manipulating Minecraft maps with Python. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there were all these maps on the forum and on Planet Minecraft. And Careful uh, skeletons. Whoops. Um, and you will well, not spawn here when you die. Well, that's good to know. Um, a lot of these maps are hosted on uh, Mediafire and Dropbox and other file hosting sites, and they'll just sort of randomly disappear. And there was nobody archiving them, so I just for, so the first thought I had was, oh, I'll just archive these. Um, and then once I'd archived them, I started thinking of interesting things to do with them. So I came up with the idea for the uh, the, the sign dungeon, which I showed you last time. Mm -hmm. um, that was also that also came out of the Minecraft Geologic Survey, um, and then this, which uh, also comes out of the survey, because the main data in the survey is sort of taking the most interesting chunks from each map, and taking this data set that's about two terabytes and compressing it down, so that you can get a, a sort of random sample of it um, with only like ten gigabytes, which is, you know, that's something you could, uh, with a little bit of trouble, you could download that. I think I found us a house. Yeah, this, this looks this, good. It's like a self-contained underwater breathing apparatus or something. It's got a door and uh, some workshop benches. This would probably be a good place to turn some of those diamonds we have into armor. So, oh, yeah, so it's much whole, armor. It's a house in, in all in one chunk. Organic House by Rigsby21. Good job, published, Rigsby. Published in 2013. Oh, it um, says the our, year? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it uh, does. Almost all of them have the have the year publication. So I've got a, a hat and I've got boots. I'm gonna I've got a bunch of diamonds. I'll make the rest of my armor. Cool. We've sort of gone from a very Dang flat it. area to an area that's a lot 
bumpier, so uh, it's a lot more. It's a lot easier to sort of lose sight of you in this case, or where you're going, or where you've been. Um, and that's intentional. I, I've uh, designed it to sort of have. We've uh, switched places. <laughs> I've designed it to sort of have biomes, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, so, could you give me an example of some of those biomes? It seemed like we started out in kind of a plains-ish biome. Yeah. I'm getting slaughtered by this skeleton. Well, don't here. let him slaughter you. Shoot back. That's the first rule of shooting at people who are shooting at you. It's it's a pretty was... it's a pretty obvious <laughs> system start to finish, I would say. Um, it's, yeah, it's... I was I was focusing on getting my mic back, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, so, it seems like over here we get a lot more chaotic. Yeah, so this is bumpier, there's more terrain. It's not necessarily Minecraft generated terrain. Um but it's less just like flat stuff and then, you know, I built a house on, on the flat map. Mm -hmm. um, so this is this is probably a lot of these are, are sort of complete the monument type maps. It's the beginnings of those maps or other challenge maps. Uh, okay, I've got a second bed. So I need to get uh, into this boat and you can use the one bed and I'll use the other. All right, cool. Dang it. Okay, so... Oh, actually, I've got two. I've got plenty of beds. I hope you enjoy it, according to this sign. Okay, we're also going to need to shoot that guy first. Where is he? Where is that coming from? Oh, I, I think I got a beat on him. Where's he? Oh. They're coming from everywhere. Just get in the bed. I think we're All far right. enough away that we can uh, survive the night. So let's see if well, I go. Oh, that's a void hole right there. Let's not jump in there. Um, let's go back this way. Okay. I think it's really neat how some of these pillars just seem to go right up into the sky. If we were to set this up on a multiplayer map, I would envision a lot of those chunks uh, might end up being people's bases. Yeah, you've got you've definitely got the high ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, be careful. If you fall into the void over here, you fall into the void over here. So I'm just uh, using this ocean to climb up here. Looks like yeah, there's something at the top of this chunk, some sort of cool island. Yeah, so someone may have made, like, a survival island map that's at 150 for some reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe so they can have a really deep ocean. Um, so this may be the, the chunk we're seeing. That would make a lot that's of sense. That's just my guess. I see ice, so maybe it's like a glacier survival map. Or a Titanic map. Oh, yeah. here we are. I heard a cat. Hey, there's cats up here. And What's part of a building... It's the continent of Catarctica. Does it say that? No, I made it up. Okay, well, that's, that's good, too. Um, <laughs> I don't have a block that I can place to get out of here. Oh, uh, well, good thing I got all those blocks. Here is... You gotta put you got to put them underneath and dig out. Yeah. And don't drown while you're using your inventory. All right. Almost there. I believe in you. Okay. I'm up. I'm on, I've, I've made it to Cat, Catartica. This cat's name is Doodles. Awesome. So this map was made by True Dark, and it's New New Island. Um, cool. And... It's not just the New Island. No, this is like, it's actually the eighth island. It really should be New 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 Island to steal from Doctor Who New 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 New. Um, oh, wow, this is neat. So we come back yeah, over we're... here, and it's a much more patchwork checkerboard type thing. Yeah, we've got a great view. Yeah, so this is so this is a section of the map that's more flat, mm -hmm. um, and I would guess that those are all at y equals sixty four or sixty five because that's sort of Minecraft sea level, and so mm -hmm. a lot a lot of maps sort of live at y equals sixty five. So you'll see a lot of flat areas at that elevation. I really like how these kind of mountain ranges of taller chunks cut up the uh, the different areas. So we got this disparate hilly area over here, then a mountain range, and then kind of a plains type thing. We might want to just take the water back down. That's probably going to be yeah, our safest bet. I'm thinking we'll head toward the checkerboard nightmare thing over here. All right, cool. All right, here I come. Don't die. Almost died, but I went back in the water just in time. There you go. Do not die. Let's see. We got a little, uh, little I don't know what you call this. I guess Half a house. Yeah. Oh, no, it's the area around here is toxic. I better not break anything. Uh oh. I'm tired. Maybe I should nap. Oh, we well, might want to grab these really beds. These signs are really bossy. This is by a darkened zone. 
Uh, the truth these men have tried to hide is that you were once. Published in 2012. Oh, hey, yes, ender so chests! I hadn't even thought about there being ender chests. I'm going to store some of these diamonds for later. Yeah. Okay. That is sure. that is cool. I had. It's funny because you you when you're in this kind of game mode where you're exploring, you don't remember all the cool stuff there is. Oh, like for example, Nether portal. Do we have the stuff to make a, a flint and steel? Um, I don't. I'm sure we could find it nearby. Uh, yeah. There's some there's some lava. We could do the lava trick. Um, let me see if there's anything actually in this chunk, like, you know, a flint and steel in this box right here, because why not? Here's a, here's a box full of zombie spawners. Oh, that's also helpful, I'm sure. Hey, here's some bedrock. I'm sure that I won't accidentally place that while I panic. Oh, okay. you got a, you got bedrock in there? I got right, 10 bedrock and some flint and steel. So, uh, All right. I'm going to step in. Okay. Right. Welcome the to yeah. the nether. Nether's probably just going to be like vanilla nether. Um, there are some some special nether chunks. Uh, I think we found one, one because this is... Yeah, we're in a, a bedrock maze. Hey, wait, wait, wait. There's a way out. Do you have a... I didn't bring any torches. Do you have any torches? Um, I've got zero torches. Okay, well, as long as I don't accidentally... Pl I'm going to put the bedrock back in my inventory because I don't want to lock us out of this maze. Okay, it's, so... I, I, I'm just climbing a staircase. It doesn't really seem to be a maze. Are you experiencing yeah, it's a that? staircase. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm up this here. This is Survival on the Top of the Nether by Bugger Bear, Buggy Bear Boo, published in 1912, 2013, one of those two. Make a diamond pick. Kill the Ender Dragon. There will be random moors. Make an EXP farm. So it seems like we have found... So there's a bunch of stuff on top of the Nether in this. Bizarrely. Uh yeah, that is that is kind of odd. I wasn't expecting this much stuff on top of the Nether. So um, you said that you. How did you pull Nether chunks into this? Um, there's some maps where you spawn in the Nether, so the the spawn chunk is in the Nether, um, and then some of them like this seem to have made it into the Nether by mistake. I don't think this was supposed to be in the Nether. Um, a huge custom terrain caved in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It was, Probably a mistake, but... Uh, so th this chunk here seems to be a gap. We might be able to descend. Okay, yeah, we're not climbing down that. Yeah, that's that's going to go into void. This is another one of those... Uh, Let's see if we can get some ender pearls. Um, we might be able to get out that way. There's an uh, there's another nether portal the way we came back. Oh, yeah, that's also true. Um, I mean, just, I'm just, just kind of wandering around. No, I'm, I'm looking. There's cool stuff in here. Um... Maybe not enough cool stuff to warrant getting lost, so let's head back toward the way we came. Yeah, there's there's definitely more cool stuff in the overworld just because the vast majority of spawn chunks are in the overworld. Mm -hmm. And you determine what was a spawn chunk not based on X and Y, but based on where the player spawns. Yeah, I would look at where where is the spawn location for the world, and then if that wasn't set, I would look where is the player currently. So... Uh, you know, if you make a map in MC Edit and you fly around and you never actually set the spawn chunk, um, I will see where you were when you quit Minecraft, and that will be the spawn chunk. Interesting. That's that's really cool. Okay, so we got some trees and stuff over here. Let's see. Oh, this is uh okay. That's wool. I thought this was a gap at first. What do these signs say? Welcome to the haunted house. Video settings. Brightness moody. Press F1. Good yeah. luck. Yeah, I could see this being, uh, you know, a, a spawn chunk that starts in the nether. Well, and the reason that people build maps in the nether on the top like this is because the gas won't spawn. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And so they could have their haunted house with the creepy red background, but without a gas coming in and blowing up the whole thing. I feel like if you had a haunted ha if I did a haunted house in the nether, I'd want to have gas because they'd be like the booze in Super Mario. Well, it depends on how destructible your haunted house is. Because, like, if you want to be able to use materials like the dark wood or glass or things like mm. that, you'd lose that option. Okay, don't use the flint and steel. <laughs> okay, we're we're st whoa. Okay, um, is that do, do you have a I bucket a, of water? I see a helipad. Do you um, have a bucket I, of water? I do not have a bucket of water. Um, I see a little tiny pool of water. We could try to jump and land in it. Let me see what's 
down here. Okay, part two. You were captured and now you to escape. The plates. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to dig down. Um, that's. Uh. Ooh. Well, there's a lot of obsidian. Okay, see that right there seems to have uh, water in it. So I'm gonna yeah. use our precious, precious bedrock here to build okay. an eternal bridge. Yes, no one will ever uh, mess with your bridge unless they go into creative mode. And then we drop. All right. Sure. Cool. All right, well, we made it a little bit further down. So so I, I consider... Well, and also, if we break this sand block yeah. here... Yeah, we just got to update. Then the water, the water... And I'm watching the CPU load on the server to make sure everything doesn't go crazy really fast. Okay, that was completely ineffective. I shouldn't have been looking at that no. CPU meter. Okay, so I'm back on that boat. Um, and whatnot. But anyway, I think that we did a pretty good job of communicating the core concept of the map. I think yeah. people will be excited about the map. Um, we're going to have a link in the description here. And we're also uh, going to be setting up a server for some YouTube people to play on. Um, although, you know, that's not going to be open to everybody. It's whitelist only. You can download the maps from Leonard's website and set them up on your own server, play them with your friends and have a fun time. So. Yeah, there's going to be, uh, I'm going to do a number of maps over, you know, over a few weeks. Um, but I'm, I'm probably going to start with a single player map that's about 10,000 chunks. And then you'll be able to download the same server map that uh, Joe and the other YouTubers are using. Yeah, well, the, we were thinking about possibly holding the uh, YouTube map. It'll be like a month long event. So you might not be able to download that particular one until the event is over. But okay. there will be, m my point was that there will be opportunities to play it at some point. I don't yeah, want to make a liar be... out of you. Okay. Or you to make a yeah. liar out of me or li no lie in here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's going to be plenty of maps. Um, this is, I've got some sort of it, uh, interesting alternate designs for these maps. So, um, you know, I can do a number of them. Like, I know um, you had talked about, I don't know if this is secret, but possibly doing theme maps where you do one with ocean biomes or one with skyblock biomes or things yeah, like there's, that. Yeah, there's going to be one that's just all the skyblock maps right next to each other. I think that's a pretty exciting idea. The the ultimate skyblock challenge. It won't be as challenging probably in some ways because <laughs> you have a lot more skyblocks in the sky than you normally would. But, I mean, on the plus side, that means that you don't have to, uh, you know, sit there with a... What do you call that bedrock generator? No, glowstone Cobblestone. generator. Cobblestone. Cobblestone generator. I knew I would get it eventually. Flintstone generator, vitamin generator. I don't know, something. Um, cool. Man, I'm just kind of running through here in, like, frantic mode, trying to see how long I can live. And this is, like, the trippiest dream ever. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm also running through trying to trying to live, and I am really close to getting knocked into the void. I found an awesome little house. This, this went from scary to like, oh, okay, I could just live here forever now. <laughs> this is it, it's the opposite of a nightmare in that uh, at the end everybody's happy, and but then again, I, I guess that's that's really that's the experience we want viewers to have. We want them to be confused, surprised, bewildered, and then at the end of the day, they feel happy, safe content because yeah, they know that they've learned something get some resolution well it's been really great having you leonard until next time y'all this is joe hills from nashville tennessee leonard do you have any final words for the folks at home uh enjoy the map and remember that uh you may have helped to make this map if you uh uploaded a minecraft map to uh planet minecraft or the minecraft forums uh there's a decent chance your map is in here so thank you Thanks, y'all, and keep adventuring.